From our North Idaho newsroom tonight, a luxury home once featured in Parade of Homes has been destroyed by a fire that has investigators scratching their heads. Fire crews responded twice to the home on East Woodstone Drive in a gated community near Hayden Lake. KXLY force Tanya Dahl is live at our North Idaho newsroom tonight. And Tanya, investigators say this was not your typical house fire. Robin, not at all. Fire officials tell me that the homeowner actually turned fire crews away when they made their first stop. And then on a second call, a surprise to pretty much everyone. Not enough water pressure to put out this fire. It was huge, huge. The, the house was, was almost 6,000 square feet and it was all entirely in flames. Burning beams and intense heat, a house engulfed by flames silhouetted against the night sky. I'm thankful they all got out and there was no loss of life. Fire crews first came to this house Wednesday night on Woodstone Drive after a neighbor saw smoke and called for help. Northern Lakes Fire Inspector Tyler Drexel says the homeowner told emergency crews he'd already put out the fire that started in a fireplace. As a precaution, Drexel says fire crews used thermal imaging to inspect the chimney, asked the homeowner if they could inspect the roof, but were turned away. Approximately one and a half hours later, crews were called back to fight a massive fire. You could see the outline of the house, the beams and two by fours, and they were all on fire torching. While trying to put it out, crews realized the water pressure was too low to battle the flames. We did have water, it just wasn't the kind of pressure we were looking for to, to make a serious attack on the fire. Firefighters had to wait for the water district to show up and increase water flow. A spokesperson for North Kootenai Water District tells KXLY4 News that a valve malfunction was why firefighters didn't have sufficient water fire flow. The district says an investigation is underway. It's bad enough to have a fire start, but you always think that the fire department's going to be right there to put it out. For those who call this gated community home, many are left feeling uneasy. Charred remains a reminder of what can go terribly wrong. We were here, watched the house get built in eight to nine months, and in eight to nine hours it was burned to the ground. And fire investigators are still trying to determine the cause of last night's fire. Neighbors did tell me that the same family actually lost another house in Malibu back in 1993. And our attempts to contact the family were unsuccessful today. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.